your girl AJK Geek XX Chic, and we're finally here, guys. The finale of Runaways. That's it. Finale forever, maybe. Anyways, we're here. I it's bittersweet because I do like the show a lot. I think it's very interesting. I think it's been done fairly well overall. And I was very sad to hear that it got canceled. But as I said before, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gone forever. Disney Plus has launched. They're promising all kinds of new content over the next couple of years. So I feel like we might get to see Runaways again. So last episode, this one, sorry, this episode is called Cheat the Gallows, which is a dark title, but not surprising because things are not exactly happy in the world of Runaways right now. Last episode, the most you know, the most significant thing that happened really was the death of Gertrude. I said in the last episode, which I discussed in the review, that I think that the way that they handled Gert's death was was fairly good, actually. It was believable in the sense of, you know, Gert didn't really have a superpower in its sense outside of her connection to Old Lace, which I feel like unfortunately really could have and should have been explored more in the show, but I get why it wasn't. I like that they gave her a chance to be badass in her own way before she left, but obviously devastating to the crew, devastating to Chase, devastating to her parents devastating to Molly who that's really you know the family she's identified with so much throughout her life so but unfortunately the party is not over when it comes to bad crap that they have to deal with as we saw three episodes ago or so Alex unfortunately looks like he must have left his soul or his conscience or his light or whatever you want to call it in the dark force dimension he did it in order to get out well not to get out to save his friends really so uh, without further ado let's jump into the episode Lego June 14th, 2028. Time jump. Full forces in life are invisible. Is this the thing that his dad saw last season? His love. It's 2020. Okay, that happened. I'm so hungry. So they did break up. She wasn't about that bald head and bad, bad teeth, huh? Why would an alien need to go to college? Molly finally made that dance team. You go, girl. Who's still living in the creepy underground palace? Oh, Liz. Oh, okay, we got upgrades. Guess it helps when you're not fighting with your parents. You got money again. Sorry, I just, I can't. Is it just me? Is he turning into Dale? What is this though? What is this soul patch? I'm sorry. Does Alex have his own office? Okay, sir. Great men do great things. I love those kind of glass. I want one in my house so bad. Why do they still have that? Oh yeah, I forgot Janet had one. So they're using alien technology to time jump. Chase, this feels like a bad idea. Oh my God, is that Nico's actual whole face? Without makeup? Oh, and she levitating. Okay, this is a new level of yoga we ain't never heard of. How did you know where I was? I, I didn't tell anyone I was coming back. Because I've been here before. That shit escalated quickly. Okay, Nico did some Jedi stuff. I'm yeah. down. That scar doesn't look like a lacrosse injury. It's not. Never trust anyone named Victor. Your dad did that? Not my dad. Also not relevant to our current situation. We need to gather the others. Too much! The others stayed at home and met a cute grad student. That's life. I wanted to reach out. Alex to really wants to rub that in. With a little help from Alex and the abstract, eventually I can figure it out. Oh my god. Here of comes. all the people in the world, you get to become a time lord? That is so unfair. I assume that's a Doctor Who reaction. Or why? Would any Star Wars would tell? Actually tempting. So we play judge and jury for something that he hasn't done yet? I don't think so. No, I think this is a good idea. If he can't get to one of us, he's going to go after someone we care about. Like Julie? Who? Yeah, we don't care. Moving on. How about I just text her right now and see what's best? You know, I'll, I'll give it to you. Forget about it. You can, uh, you can go ahead and give it to her. Yeah, great. Okay. Did you change Good girl, her? though. Her gut was telling her not to let... Oh, jeez. We're still a team. Put the gun down or this is about to get a lot worse. I think the gun's faster than you are, Molly, with all due respect. I'm loving this spell, though. Yes. Okay, Nico. Wow, okay, but I didn't shoot her, so there's hope. I was about to say, he could have killed her. He didn't. And these are your own personal time machines. 
They look a lot like old watches. I can't believe he came here to hunt us. And we had no idea he was coming. That's official. Devious. Typical Wilder. Oh, Kinda. Yeah, we love about him. Yo, it's gonna be a kick-ass season, bro. Hell yeah. I'm gonna reach the Chase is gonna be like, I hate myself. Isn't it great that we actually can't go back and see ourselves in high school? Cause yay! You just leave your locker wide open? So could she interact with Gert then? Because Gert is not here. You think they do something to disguise how they look? Like other people can see them. So if you take out that Alex, what would happen? There are brakes on that cart. Are you serious? Even I know that. This way. We'll cut him off. Will you? Is this exactly what they said can't happen? <gasps> what if all three Alex's see each other? Universal implosion. So stay on task, stay on task, stay on task, stay on task. Chase. God, why, Chase? Was, uh, auditioning for um, Pirates of Penance. 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 Suffers from anxiety, which is a real thing. So when you guys really her like that, it what? what? Chase, that's not something I ever told people. Mm. Not yours to tell. It's a field trip. Ethical hacking class. That's big. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> I'm sorry. His face going on the. What? That's the. <laughs> sorry, I'm late. I thought I was going to. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> More anxiety medication. I'm Alex. Who is that? It's you from the future. I have <laughs> The important stuff. Oh, they look so peaceful. This is the way that you make people to sleep. <laughs> that was a great scene. Against the fastest way out of here. You exiled Hawaii. Or the Star Wars Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And I would have stayed with you. Been miserable for the rest of my life. Well, damn, girl, you could have at least sugarcoated that. My entire purpose behind building the time machine. And after seeing her here, now, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. How do you know that's not going to bring Morgan back? So it's done. Oh my god. But there remains a possibility we all make the exact same choices again. Only this time, Gert will be there to share it with you. That's naive, Chase. You figured out time travel, but not the ultimate rule of the butterfly effect. This is such a bad plan. Oh my god. We should already know that Chase is not the plan maker. So, do you not have a shrouding spell? I guess Morgan would pick up on it. Never mind. I just, I need to tell you something. Can you hurry up? More important than Morgan or the staff. Which is? I know what's going on. I'm your father. The only way to protect those you love is to leave them. Do we need to have a long speech right now? I think I so she's become? Because what did I say? Like, if you ever... Why did I go in here? Right? So that's right. Because now that she made that decision, that version of her is gone. I get it now. So they're all going to disappear. Ah, the brawless wonder returns. Elizabeth Hurley's really hard acting. Yeah. Tina's like, I'm busy. Hi, Nico is literally being tortured outside. Can you do this love confession later? Wow, you really have not practiced, have you? No. Maybe he needs a partner. Right? Like maybe things always happen the way they're supposed to, Chase. You two are adorable. It shouldn't work, but somehow <laughs> I appreciate the commentary. At least you're gonna die together. That's sweet. Pathetic children to win. Okay. But Gert's dead. Wait, where's Alex? Is Alex gonna screw this up? Oh, Gert did survive. 
It's not that I heard a crack, y'all. Sorry. How is this pain any better, Chase? That's really selfish. Really the sad music and everything again. Okay. Where's the other Alex? Wait, what? I'm confused. You should all disappear then, right? God, evil Alex strikes again. So the cycle starts again. That's it. Okay, sorry, I gotta go back and read that second line in the note cause it just, I was too busy paying attention to other things. Hide Mancha. Mancha, who's Mancha? Interesting, kill Nico again. Okay, well guys, that was the series finale of Runaways, and I have mixed feelings. I feel like this episode was rewritten. As I said, I think two or three episodes ago in the review, I was saying that I don't know whether or not the writers were aware of the fact that the show was being canceled when they started writing season three. My guess is no, because usually when these shows get renewed, and I think season, season three was renewed halfway through season two or earlier, I'm not sure. The point is, they usually are ahead of the curve and they start to write like the whole arc and all that kind of stuff long before they start shooting it. And this doesn't feel... I have too many questions, I guess is my point. Like, as I said at the beginning of this episode, I'm not happy that Gert died. Like, obviously I wanted all of them to survive because, you know, they're our main characters. It's all good. But this doesn't make sense. Like, I mean, I'm no Doctor Who aficionado, but I know that there are definitely laws to time travel and they seem like they were very flagrantly ignored and violated in this episode. And I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of story was just kind of crumpled up and tossed in the wastebasket in, in service of giving us a happy ending to the story, which wasn't really necessary. And the fact that you used time travel and had Chase be this lone warrior who comes from the future to fix the wrongs or whatever, like we got no explanation. We got no, oh, I mean, and I guess that's what the note that evil Alex or future Alex left for past Alex is what it alludes to. But like, here's the thing. If you're gonna do time, time travel or use that as a trope in your show or your book or whatever, one of the reasons it's just something that you have to be very careful is that there's just too many things that need to be covered. If you're gonna use that as a trope, I feel like you need to either go tread very lightly and use it for something that makes real sense or you need to be prepared to go into a very lengthy, deep and intricate storyline that doesn't, like I say, break a bunch of rules and get things really messy and overly complicated because I feel like they overly complicated this to save Gert. Like I would have sooner thought it would have been a better idea for Nico to have just gone, like future Nico to be like, look, I am now a super amazing witch wizard goddess and I figured out now that I can go back to the night we defeated what's her face and I could use magic to send her back and no one has to get hurt, right? And then she could be like, hey, old me, turns out I need to become a super wizard to be able to do this because it was my business to handle since I let her out in the first place. So don't worry about it, live your life, peace. And then like disappear again. That would have made much more sense because magic automatically kind of throws all rules of science out the window than having Chase come from the future, from a future where everyone is bad potentially and decide he's gotta save Gert and has gotta bring Alex back, but he knew he was never gonna bring Alex back because if he changed the past, then that version of Alex would be gone. Ah, I'm frustrated because I really like this show and I just feel like they almost should have gone with whatever ending, I don't know for sure, by the way, I'm assuming, but it just does not feel to me like this was the end of the season that they had planned. I think that they, rewrote this one in a desperate attempt to try to get some closure to this series when they found out it was being canceled. This has happened a lot. It happened to Lost. It happened to a couple other shows that got canceled when they didn't think it was going to be canceled. And then they kind of had to haphazardly throw a cap on the season. This one just didn't work. Like, I think they really over overcomplicated it just to have that scene, that 80s John Hughes, the breakfast club leaving the classroom scene at the end, and we didn't need to have it. Or we could have had it with them saying, you know, like saying they were trying to move on with their lives, like literally not had the time jump and instead just had them trying to deal with Gert's loss and then seeing like Nico being like, 
at the end saying, yeah, no, I can't accept this, disappearing, becoming the wizard, and then coming back and you know what I mean? And then going back in time and then, you know, just a whole, but like this would have been a much better episode if they had maybe redone all of season or episode nine, but with Nico manipulating things with magic in order to make things work the way they, they thought they should. And then the end, it would have been a really sweet tweak if we saw that maybe instead of Alex becoming evil, somebody, you know what I mean? Because there's always a ripple effect to changing things, right? And I almost thought that's what we got. And I know it sounds really mean, but if Gert had ended up dying anyways, that would have been much more believable to me in the, like the, you know, maybe things are always supposed to happen the way they're supposed to happen sort of thing than this version of Chase taking several chandeliers glasses to the chest and then still managing to complete the... Like, and what really pisses me off about that, actually, now that I think about it, is that it took away from Gert's heroic death. You took away the heroic death from the minority female and gave it to a white dude. Screw you, show for that, by the way. I don't know. I'm I'm feeling a little emotional about this episode. I don't know. Let's go to some of the good things. One of the, some of the good things about the episode was there's some really funny scenes. I really enjoyed some of the comic cool stuff that happened when they were on the campus of their school back in, you know, when they went back to their season one selves. I thought that was really fun. They handled some of that really with quite a bit of humor. I also liked that we kind of got Alex discussing some of the things that he went, like how he felt and the fact that he was aware of what happened and that maybe there was some hope that he didn't succumb to what happened in the dark dimension. But we, again, we didn't really get closure on that either. They kind of just hop, skipped and jumped over that. And again, I get it. There is not a lot they could do in that short amount of time, but it was kind of cool to see those moments with the group. That's kind of it. Like the rest was all over the place in a way to me. Like, and for a finale, I feel like it shouldn't have been that disjointed. A finale should be all about bringing everything together and wrapping it up nicely in a way that makes sense. And then maybe like, you know, leaving a little door crack open into the next step, which they did with the note that evil Alex or future Alex or whatever left for himself, which will likely start the whole thing all over again. Yeah, I, I just, I feel like there was a lot of things that just didn't belong in this episode. I just really feel like they could have handled this finale better. Really, unfortunately. And again, I, I don't know, as I said, I don't know all the circumstances, but it feels to me like this was not what they intended to do. I, I really want to be more positive about it because I do like this show and I want to feel like I'm just crapping all over this episode. It's just, I, I don't feel like we got the potential that I know this show is capable of with this episode. And as I said before, I, I feel a bit cheated. Like I feel like we could have gotten a better, like I said, if, you, if we wanted to rectify Gert's death, if we felt like we had to do that, then I feel like we could have and should have done that using Nico or something that was a little bit more feasible that would have been more about the group and their dynamic and wrapping up everything that they've been through this season and then kind of like I said leaving a small crack into what could come in the future. <sighs> I hate to say it but it was a disappointing finale for me. Um, there were some cool moments, there were some cool things. I think the season overall was good and let me actually yeah let's get into the overall season slash series recaps. I think that's gonna be definitely a little bit more upbeat than what I'm feeling right now about the finale. Let me start with the season because that's gonna be a lot faster. I did like this season a lot. It started out really good. As I said, I thought the pacing and everything for the first half seemed really nice. I really liked how they were playing, especially with the Gibbs side of things. When we had the first half with the Gaborum still around. I really liked the the dual playing of the different characters. I loved seeing the group kind of work together in different ways. We had a lot of really cool moments with Nico and her powers and the parents, you know, trying to get them somewhat on that redemption arc. I think it could have been a lot more fun, as I said before in earlier episodes, if we'd actually kept them till the end and been able to keep like the Zavin stuff and, and the all, you know, let's, all of that kind of stuff kind of going towards the end where we could have gotten a little deeper into what the Gibbs were all about, why they were exiled, having Alex be that bad Gib for a bit longer. Like there was a lot of potential there that like unfortunately I feel like could have been explored more and would have been a lot of fun to explore. But because they were so keen on doing the Morgan thing, they kind of cut that off uh, a little early. But I did like how they handled a lot of the magic stuff as far as Morgan and the, the dark dimension versus the real life. And the episodes where they were in the dark dimension were really, really well done in my opinion as well. And overall, it was still a good season. I enjoyed a lot of it. I got a lot of laughs this season, which was nice. I 
like to laugh in these shows even though they tend to have slightly more morose subject matter and uh, I was kind of sad that we saw less of some of my favorite uh, parents if we have to see parents like we didn't get to see as much of Catherine being evil we didn't get to see as much of Victor being his snotty self and then of course basically Chase's mom what was her name Janet like was basically out from episode two it was good I did enjoy it I still think it's a great show and I would definitely still recommend it for people to watch and overall as a series I really enjoyed this considering that they did not have the same budget that say uh, other shows that are Marvel based like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Netflix shows particularly had I think they did a great job with the character development and the action we could get. They were very creative considering they didn't actually have a lot of sets that were used in this show and things like wardrobe, things like that. All of it was very simplistic when you look at it critically, but I think they did a great job of still telling a great story and keeping us engaged in what was going on with these characters and also dealing with some really good dynamics around relationships and trust and bonds and, you know, how far do you go? what can you forgive, parent-child dynamics, ethics, like a lot of pretty deep issues were handled here even though they didn't get into some of the more popular social issues I guess you could say like for example like they had in um, Cloak and Dagger where they dealt with some much more realistic in your face type of issues. All that considered I think that the the show did a great job of that over the seasons. They developed characters that were fun, fun to watch, had some development to some degree. Obviously some characters had more than others. I feel like the show very heavily focused on Nico, Carolina, and Molly for the most part when it came to a lot of their development. The other characters got some as well, but if you look from season one to season three, I personally did not see a big change in Carolina so, so much. I didn't really see much of a big change in Chase. Actually, it's not true. Chase did get to, you know, he did kind of go from being more dude bro -y to being a little bit more empathetic, although we kind of found out he was always like that anyways. And then, like I said, Alex, I could rant for days about how I feel like Alex got underserved in this show in many ways, but he still was a cool character in a lot of ways, and he just had a lot of potential. But overall, as I said, still an enjoyable series. I really enjoyed it. I would have loved to watch another season or two of it for sure. I'm sad that I had to come to this rushed conclusion, but I personally do think that Disney Plus is going to probably pick this one up along with all the other Marvel properties that were on television shows or television mediums and find ways to incorporate them into their new service. Like now that they've got Disney Plus, and all the Marvel properties back for the most part. I do think we're going to see more of these and I feel like the next incarnation is going to be even more cool. I think we're going to get more interaction. We're going to see a lot more connectivity and it can be done now in a much more cohesive way that will include more of the verse and again I mean I hate to say it because it seems petty but Disney has a lot more money right? <laughs> Anyways back on track with this Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure to do these last three seasons with you. I am sad it's coming to an end, but I'm glad I was able to do these reactions and get involved with all of you guys have been great with information about the characters that I didn't know and filling in gaps for me and just making my comment section super fun. It's been so cool to share this journey with you and hopefully we'll get a chance to keep doing it maybe in another year or so if they decide to pick this one up. But if not, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find another show to put in the gap because uh, yeah, a lot of things are coming down the pike in 2020. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this series along with me and that you enjoyed this season. I'm sorry I couldn't be more positive about this particular finale. It's not my favorite out of the series, unfortunately, but I still love the series as a whole and give it a thumbs up. Please let me know your thoughts on this finale, on the series itself, the season, all that good stuff. I love reading about it and getting involved in that conversation with y'all. Thanks so much for the journey. I wish you guys all the best. And if you see my other videos, I'll see you soon. And if not, hopefully I will see you on the next cool thing that I choose to react to. So until next time, guys.